from turning his college frat house into a nightclub to becoming the richest man alive, this is how Elon Musk built his empire. Before he became the billionaire CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, Musk was just a college student trying to make ends meet. And boy, did he get creative. Back in 1989, Musk left South Africa to attend Queen's University in Ontario, Canada. But after spending two years there, he transferred to the University of Pennsylvania on scholarship in 1992. That's where he met his roommate, Adeo Resi, and the duo came up with an unusual way to make money to pay rent. They rented a large frat house off campus, and Musk and Resi transformed it into a full-fledged nightclub. According to Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX, and the Quest for a Fantastic Future by Ashley Vance, they were able to make an entire month's rent in just one night. Musk said, Adeo was in charge of doing cool stuff around the house, and I would run the party. And boy, did they know how to throw a party. Resi described the parties as a full-out, unlicensed speakeasy in the book. They would have as many as 500 people, charging just $5 for entry, and it was pretty much all you could drink – beer and jello shots, amongst other things. It's amazing to think that the billionaire innovator we know today got his start running illegal parties in college. But it's a testament to his entrepreneurial spirit and his willingness to take risks to achieve his goals. And it just goes to show that you never know where life will take you. Even a frat house can become the birthplace of a brilliant mind. Musk's first big entrepreneurial journey began way back in 1995 when he was just 24 years old. That's right, Elon's first company was called Zip2, one of the first internet maps and direction services. He started it with just $15,000 and some funding from his father. But that didn't stop him from dreaming big and working hard to make it a success. According to Musk, he started Zip2 with just around $2,000 from himself, $5,000 from his brother, and $8,000 from Greg Curry. He tweeted in December 2019, My dad provided 10% of a $200,000 angel funding round much later, but by then the risk was reduced, and round would have happened anyway. And Zip2 was just the beginning of Musk's entrepreneurial journey. Over the years, he's gone on to co-found several other companies, including SpaceX, Tesla, and The Boring Company. And just recently, he closed the deal to buy Twitter for a whopping $44 billion, adding yet another massive business to his already impressive empire. Let me tell you the story of how that young entrepreneur went from selling his company for $341 million to creating one of the most successful payment platforms in history, PayPal. It all started back in 1999 when Compaq acquired Zip2 for an impressive $341 million. With his newfound wealth, Musk started his next venture, a fintech company called X.com. With X.com, Musk aimed to streamline and simplify the process of making transactions on the internet. When the company merged with Confinity, the creators of a similar payment platform, PayPal was born. But Musk's time at PayPal wasn't always smooth sailing. In fact, he was ousted as CEO by Peter Thiel before the company was eventually sold to eBay for a staggering $1.5 billion. But even though he was no longer at the helm, Musk still profited from the sale thanks to his 11.7% stake in the company. In a 2018 interview, Musk revealed that he earned around $180 million from the sale of PayPal. And with that money, he continued to pursue his passions and invest in the future. $100 million went into SpaceX, $70 million went into Tesla, and $10 million went into SolarCity. But even with all that wealth, Musk never forgot where he came from. In fact, he once revealed that he had to borrow money just to pay his rent after the sale of PayPal. It's a testament to his drive and determination that he was able to turn a small payment platform into a multi-billion dollar enterprise that's transformed the way we make transactions online. Speaking of Tesla, many people believe that Musk is the founder of the revolutionary company, but the truth is a little more complicated. In fact, Musk wasn't even involved in the company's early stages. Instead, he became the lead investor in Tesla's Series A funding round in 2004, providing the company with $6.5 million in exchange for becoming its largest shareholder. It wasn't until later on that Musk took on a greater role in the company. 
assuming the position of CEO in 2008 and overseeing the rollout of its first commercially available car, the Roadster, in 2009. Under Musk's leadership, Tesla has become synonymous with electric cars and has played a major role in the shift towards sustainable transportation. But Musk didn't do it all alone. He had a talented team of engineers and designers working alongside him, each bringing their unique talents and expertise to the table. Together, they created a groundbreaking electric car that has captured the world's imagination and set a new standard for the auto industry. When it comes to innovation in space technology, SpaceX is leading the way. Founded in 2002 by Elon Musk, this rocket producer has taken huge strides in the industry, with Musk serving as the lead designer to oversee the development of rockets and spacecraft for missions both to Earth orbit and beyond. SpaceX has achieved numerous milestones, with the Falcon 1 becoming the first privately developed liquid fuel rocket to reach orbit in 2008. But the company has continued to push the boundaries, making history in 2017 when it successfully reflew both a Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon spacecraft for the first time. SpaceX has a strong financial standing as well, with Forbes reporting that the company is worth an impressive $127 billion as of May 2022, quadrupling its value in just three years. The company's vision is to revolutionize space technology with the ultimate goal of enabling humans to live on other planets. SpaceX designs, manufactures, and launches advanced rockets and spacecraft, all with an eye towards pushing the boundaries of what's possible and achieving the seemingly impossible. And with Elon Musk at the helm, it's clear that there's no shortage of ambition or drive when it comes to SpaceX's mission to explore the final frontier. Hold on to your hats, because we're about to talk about two of Elon Musk's other incredible companies. How does he find the time? We have no idea. Said companies are known as Neuralink and The Boring Company. Musk is not one to shy away from pushing boundaries, and that's exactly what he's doing with Neuralink. This futuristic company is developing ultra-high bandwidth brain-machine interfaces to connect our brains directly to computers. Yep, you heard that right. We're talking about a real-life matrix situation, people. But that's not all. Musk has also launched The Boring Company, which combines super-fast and affordable tunneling technology with an all-electric public transportation system. The goal? To help alleviate the soul-crushing congestion in urban areas and enable high-speed long-distance travel. The Boring Company has already built a 1.15-mile R&D tunnel in Hawthorne, and it's currently constructing the Vegas Loop, a public transportation system at the Las Vegas Convention Center. And get this, Boring Co. is already valued at $5.7 billion. Must be all those flamethrowers he was selling. But wait, there's more. In April, Musk announced that the Boring Company would attempt to build a working Hyperloop. For those of you who don't know, and in Musk's own words, the Hyperloop is the fastest possible way of getting from one city center to another for distances less than 2,000 miles. The Starship is faster for longer journeys, but that's a story for another time. Well, it seems like Elon Musk is not just a business tycoon, but also a quirky character with a playful side. He recently launched a new product, but it's not what you would expect from a billionaire entrepreneur. Nope, it's not a new car or rocket. It's actually a perfume. And it's not just any perfume. It's called Burnt Hair. Hmm, interesting choice, Musk. I personally think Elon's Musk is a better name. In fact, he even updated his Twitter bio to Perfume Salesman after the launch. Talk about a man of many talents. But let's get back to the serious stuff. Forbes reports that Musk's net worth has skyrocketed from $2.7 billion in 2013 to a whopping $219 billion today, making him the richest person on the planet. And it's no wonder with his impressive portfolio of companies. If this isn't considered an empire, I don't know what is. From Tesla to SpaceX to Neuralink to The Boring Company, Musk is not just a one-trick pony. He's a man on a mission to revolutionize industries and change the world as we know it.